So welcome to Yoga in the Chair. I'm Audra. We're going to start by sitting up nice and tall with the feet on the floor and your back away from the chair. And go ahead and shrug your shoulders up by your ears. Take a deep breath in and roll your shoulders back and down. Big breath in, y'all. Shrug up. Exhale out. Let's do two more. Breathe in. And out. And last time, inhale. And exhale. From here, just gonna let the hands rest on the lap. Close your eyes. And just begin to focus on your breath, breathing in and out through your nose. As you inhale, allow the breath to expand your belly, your back, your ribs, your chest. As you exhale, let the shoulders relax, the hips settle, and the spine lengthens from the tailbone toward the top of your head. Setting aside any other activities for the day, just keeping your focus on your breath. As you inhale, say in your mind, I am breathing in. And as you exhale, I am breathing out. Just taking long, full breaths. If your mind wanders off to other sounds or thoughts, just gently bring your focus back to your breath. From here, I'll bring hands to heart. <clears throat> Just pressing the palms together. Take a moment to create an intention or a focus for your practice, for your day. It could be for relief or relaxation, for energy, for well-being. Whatever your intention, just having that in mind. <clears throat> Excuse me. And take a deep breath in. And exhale all the way out. From here, you can open your eyes. All right, inhale, stretch your arms up to the sky. You can look straight up or ahead. Exhale, hinging from your hips, bowing forward toward your legs. You can reach down for your knees, your shins, maybe your feet. Doesn't really matter how far you can reach. See where you can keep the shoulders back, long torso, so you're not rounding the back. Pressing through the feet. Again, inhale, stretch up to the sky. Spread through those fingers, reading back to the shoulders. Exhale as you bow forward. Inhale, stretch up tall. Exhale and bow. And again, inhale, stretch up. Exhale and bow. This time we're going to inhale, stretch up, and interlace your fingers above you, pointing index fingers. We'll stretch over to the right. Inhale, center, and then over to the left. And back to center. Go over to the first side. Adjust where you need to. You don't want to have pain any pose. Inhale, center, and again, other side. And back to center. Let's bring the arms in front. I'm going to scoot a little bit forward in the chair. Then around the back, tuck your tailbone, tuck your chin, keeping the hands clasped. We'll turn the palms forward and then stretch up to the sky. I can look straight ahead, or again, you can look up toward your hands. Exhale and round. Inhale, stretch up. Do what you can. Practice from your own level. Notice your body. Exhale out. Notice your breath. Inhale up. Exhale out. Rounding the back. Let's go one more time. Inhale up. And exhale out. From here, we're going to sit all the way up. We're going to take the arms out to the side. Cactus arms. Go about elbows, about shoulder height. You can go lower if you need to. We'll bring the hands and elbows close together. And then wide apart. 
So hands and elbows. Don't work that reach, just go as close as you can. Wide apart. Together, relax your jaw. Apart. One more. Together. And apart. From here, you can keep your head neutral or go ahead and look up. Take a breath in. As an exhale, again, you can bring the head and stay at neutral or chin to chest. Reach the arms forward, palms face down, but shoulders back. Don't round the upper back. Shoulders back. Inhale. Back to cactus arms as you look up. Exhale, arms forward, chin towards your chest. Let's go one more time. Inhale. And exhale. From here, bring your head back to neutral. Take your arms up to the side a little bit lower than shoulder. I'm going to roll the shoulders forward. And then roll the shoulders back. Roll forward. Slight rounding of the upper back. Roll back. And again, forward. And then palms up. All right, I'm going to bring the palms facing in, arms straight down by your sides, lean forward slightly. I'm going to stretch the arms straight back, keeping close to your body, lift as high as you can, and then just move your arms back and forth a half an inch or so. Okay, try to keep the shoulders back so you're not rounding forward. Find a neutral place for your neck. The arms will want to drift down as you do this. Try to keep them up high. You should be able to feel that in the back of your arms. Take a full breath in. Exhale out. From here, still leaning forward, just going to swing the arms back and forth. All right, and we're going to come all the way up from here. Like you're swimming, you're going to reach the arm back behind you, up overhead, and then back down towards the leg, and then the other side. So one arm, then the other, just circling around like you're swimming. Palm facing forward as you move here. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to reverse that on the next one. So like doing the back stroke, still palm facing forward. As you go to the back, turn the palm back and come around. Palm starts facing down, reach up. As you go back, turn that arm out and reach back. If this feels like too much, just go out to the side, okay? So you can go out to the side or you can go up overhead, a little twist from the low back, one arm then the other. One more each side. And back to center. From here, go ahead and rub your hands together. Take a big breath in. And a big sigh out. And we're going to open and close the hands. Stretch all your fingers. And then we're going to circle the wrists one direction. And then more reverse and go the other way. Take the right hand out like you're saying stop. We're going to turn the fingers out and down so the thumbs to the outside. Press the fingers towards you. Extend out through that arm, keeping the shoulder back. And a slight bend to your elbow. Then it'll stretch to the forearm and into the wrist. Take a few deep breaths in and out through your nose. Now we're going to take this hand to shoulder, other arm, other hand to your bottom of the arm. It'll lift up, you can hold from underneath, or you can hold on top. So this tends to want to arch the back, so draw navel to spine to support the back, keeping the shoulders over your hips. And we'll release that arm, shake it out. Let's go to the other side, turn the fingers out and down, gently press the fingers towards you as you extend out through the heel of the hand. Breathe in. <clears throat> Breathe out. And then we'll bring that hand to shoulder, other hand to elbow. Take the arm up. And you might be able to move one side a little bit more than the other, so that's okay. Just go to where you can. Each side might be a little bit different. And 
and then we'll release that arm and shake it out. From here, you'll lean forward slightly in your chair and you can go hands on hips, press down through the hips, lengthen up through the neck or clasp your hands behind you, the knuckles face down towards the seat of the chair, take the shoulders back, stretch your arms long. Take your feet slightly wider apart. Okay, take a deep breath in and then exhale, bow forward towards the legs as you stretch the arms back towards the chair. Press a bit through the feet. So you're activating a little bit through those muscles in the legs, the hips. Inhale, come all the way up. From here, turn your head to the right. Chin is level. And let's go over to the left. And we'll come back to center, take a breath in. Hands are still clasped or on your hips. Exhale, bow forward towards your legs as you stretch those arms back. Feel a little stretch across the mid and the lower back here, pressing through the feet. Inhale, come all the way up. And tilt the head over to the left, stretching that right ear towards the ceiling. Full breaths in and out through your nose. And then we'll switch over to the other side. And then head back to center. Take a full breath in. And again, bow forward towards your legs. From here, we're going to release the hands to your thighs. You can bring hands or elbows to thighs. We're going to take the right arm out to the side, and you can also go hand on hip here. Twist to the side, twist to the lower back, the ribs, the shoulder. Maybe extend the arm back. If that feels like too much on your shoulder, just keep hand on hip. Come on back to center. Press that elbow and leg. Lift up through both sides, even though you're leaning forward. Stretch back behind you. Inhale, come back to center. We'll go over to the first side. Inhale, center. And again, other side. And back to center. You can stay here or reach further down towards your legs. Arms press in or press out. Legs hug in. We'll take the right arm out to the side. Stretch up. Hold here, but don't hold your breath. Again, you can also place hand on hip. So you're drawing the back through the ribs, sides of the neck, relax your jaw. And we'll come back to center, hold on to that right leg, stretch up to the left. And then we'll come back to center. From here, hands back to your legs, roll all the way up. Keeping hands on your knees, we're gonna round the back. Tuck your tailbone, tuck your chin. And then bringing the head level, we're just gonna shift to make some circles. So leaning over to the right, and then circling around to the front and to the back, tilting the pelvis as you do this. So as you lean forward, sitting bones move back and apart. As you move more towards the back, you're kind of tucking your tailbone under. Right, so scooping through the tailbone there, activating those muscles. And let's go ahead and reverse the circles the other direction. Just slow circles. Let's go one more. And it'll sit all the way up. From here, your arms straight down by your side and knees and ankles line up. We're gonna take the right arm just slightly out and turn your head, tilt your head over to the left. Extend out through that right arm as if you're reaching for something. Firm through the arm, 
You're gonna rotate the shoulder forward as you extend out to the arm, getting that stretch to the side of your neck, top of the shoulder, a little bit in the upper back. And then roll the shoulder back, palm face up. Again, let's roll it forward. Roll it back. See where you can try to keep extending out through the arm. One more time, roll it forward. And then back. Lower the arm, bring the head back to center, and let's switch to the other side. So tilting the head, extend out through your arm, palm starts facing down, rotate the shoulder forward. And roll it back. Roll forward. And back. And one more forward. And back. Lower that arm down. Come on back up. Or maybe shrug your shoulders up. Take a big breath in. And roll your shoulders back and down. We'll bring the knees and ankles closer together. We're going to take the left hand over to your right leg, other hand to your hip or the side of the chair. And we're just going to twist from the waist, the ribs, the shoulder. The tendency is this shoulder, back shoulder here wants to pop up. So keep that shoulder down and then look over your head. So you're not turning your legs over to the side, you're just twisting. And we're gonna switch over to the other side. So twisting from the torso, looking over the shoulder. And then release back to center. From here, you can go hands on hips or hold on to the chair on the sides, take the shoulders back with the feet slightly apart, start to bow forward towards your legs. From here, we're gonna release the hands and reach further down to your legs, bringing the hands on the inside so you can hold here. Or if you can reach further, take your hands around to the outside, holding the outer edges of your ankles. You're gonna lift a bit through the low back and the sitting bones. You create that natural curve. You're gonna take the shoulders back, broaden your collarbones. As you press the feet, imagine you're trying to use your hands to pick up your feet, but we're gonna keep the feet on the floor, but just lifting through your upper torso, feeling that stretch across the back, a bit in the shoulders. Breathe in. Breathe out. Again, you can hold from the insides of the legs as well. Adjust where you need to. We're going to hold for two more breaths. As you inhale, you can lengthen up a bit. And the next exhale, more we'll release. Bring hands to knees and roll all the way up. Take a full breath in. And exhale out. Let's take the left leg straight out. You're going to go heel on the floor, toes to the sky. Make sure your leg is straight. So you might sit forward in the chair, but just don't let the chair tip forward on you. You have hands on hips. You can hold on to the chair. We'll take the shoulders back. It's a nice long upper body. Full breath in. Firm the leg. And exhale, start to bow forward towards the leg, keeping the knee and toe pointing up towards the sky. As you inhale, you can lengthen through the upper body. As you exhale, maybe sink a bit deeper in the stretch. Just working to the edge of that stretch. Now, as you're here, just curl and uncurl your toes a few times. And we're going to come all the way up. We'll bend that knee and hold the back of your thigh or front of your shin. Sitting up tall, we'll point and flex the foot. Circle the ankle one direction. And then we'll reverse and go the other way.
and release down. Let's take the other leg out, heel on the floor, toes to the sky, deep breath in, and then exhale, starting to bow out towards the leg on this side. The tendency the leg wants to roll out, so keep hugging back towards midline, that imaginary line down the center of the body. Inhale as you lengthen through the upper body. Exhale, sinking a little bit further, keeping that side body from hips to armpits long. Let's curl and uncurl the toes a few times on this side. And then come all the way back up. We're going to bend the knee, hold the back of the thigh here. You can also simply lift the leg. You don't have to use your hands to hold. Okay, I'm going to point and flex the foot. And circle the ankle one direction. And then let's reverse and go the other way. And lower down. From here, we're going to sit back in the chair a bit, scoop the tailbone, we're going to stretch both legs out, and then go heels on the floor here. Don't slide out of your chair or lift the legs a bit higher. We're going to reach the arms forward. And like we're on about pull hands up towards your shoulder floors, elbows out about shoulder height as well. Reach forward, pull back, reach forward, pull back, forward, and back. Three more, forward, and back, two, and one. From here, you're going to reach the arms up without looking, tap your thumbs. We're going to bend the knees, bend the elbows. You can place two toes on the floor, feet on the floor if you need to. Extend the arms, extend the legs, bend the knees, bend the elbows. Extend and bend. Extend and bend. Two more. Extend and bend. Last one. Extend and bend. We'll place the feet on the floor, sit all the way back up. Take a big breath in. And a big sigh out. From here, we're going to pick up the right leg, circle around from knee down. And let's reverse and go the other way. So working through the knee and up into the hip. And we'll switch over to the other side, circle around. And then reverse the circles other way. And then lower down. From here, we're going to lift the heels, come all the way up onto your toes and the ball of your foot, and release. So we're going to lift and lower, lift and lower, lift. Good, two more. And then we're going to do some brain exercise. All right, so from here, with the feet on the floor and the hands on your lap, we're going to lift one heel. You're going to tap one heel, then the other heel, alternating. One heel, other heel, one heel. As you do this, you're going to tap both hands. So one heel, other heel, both hands tap at the same time. Keep trying. One heel, other heel, one heel, other heel, both hands tap at the same time. One heel, other heel, one heel, other heel, both hands tap at the same time. Okay, stop. Now, this time, we're going to keep the heels on the floor. We're going to lift the toes. We're going to tap both feet at the same time. So you're going to tap and flex the feet. Tap, lift the toes, tap. As you do this, we're going to alternate the hands each time you tap the toes. So it's one hand, other hand, one hand, other hand. Both feet tap at the same time. If your feet are not cooperating, try rocking front to back. That will cue your feet. If not, holding still is going to be a little more challenging. Your feet may want to change and do what your hands are doing. That's okay. So both feet tap at the same time. One hand, other hand, one hand, other hand. Both feet 
tap. One more round. One hand, other hand, one hand, other hand. Both feet tap at the same time. All right, and just curl and uncurl your toes. Take a nice big breath in and exhale out. So don't worry if your feet did not want to cooperate. We're going to hold the hands up from here and take first finger to thumb. Try to keep the other fingers straight. Then we'll go second finger to thumb, third finger, and fourth finger. Stretch them all out from here. We're going to go back the other way from little finger, ring finger, middle finger, and index finger. All right, stretch them all out. From here, bring all the fingers together, take away the thumb and bring it back. Take away the thumb and the first finger, try to keep the other ones together, bring them back together. Take the first, second, and third. So thumb, first finger, second finger, leave third and fourth together and release. Last time, take pink, little, little finger away, just a little finger and bring it back in. All right, shake the hands out. Take a nice big breath, inhale, and exhale out. Let's take the right ankle over left, or you can bring the ankle, oh, I said left, there we go, left. So you go left ankle onto thigh. If that feels like too much, just go left ankle onto ankle. You're gonna hold onto that leg, sitting up tall. That might be enough stretch for you in your hip, holding here. Keeping your foot flexed as you do this will give more support up to that hip. And then taking the stretch further, you can start to bow forward. So hinge from your hips, don't bow from your waist and round the back. See where you can sit up tall, get nice and long through that side body, and then start to lean forward into the stretch. As you inhale, keep that nice lengthening through the spine. As you exhale, maybe sink a bit deeper. <clears throat> And inhale, come on back up. We're gonna take right hand to that left leg and twist over to the left side, looking over your shoulder. And release back to center. Right, let's go over to the other leg. So right leg, ankle over ankle, or ankle onto thigh sitting up tall and you can have hands on the leg or you can even have hands on your hip and holding your leg for it from slipping away a bit. Just keep the shoulders back, take a full breath in and exhale, holding there or slowly starting to take the stretch deeper, bowing forward towards the leg. Okay, always being mindful as you're moving in your poses so aware of your body, aware of your breath, even aware of your mind. It's easy to more holding poses sometimes to let our mind wander. So just notice your body, notice your breath. Hello, Gypsy. Gypsy Cat is here to stop by and grace us with her presence, aren't you? Yes. Come all the way up. We're going to take left hand to the top leg and other hand to the chair and twist and look over your shoulder. And release back to center. From here, place both feet on the floor with knees and ankles close together. We're going to take the right arm up. We're going to twist from the low back and we're going to cross that elbow over to your knee. If that feels like too much, just go hand on leg. Okay, so elbow to that thigh or even the outer thigh, other hand to the hip and twist, get a nice long torso, keep that, and then maybe bring the palms together and twisting to the side. That 
Right hip will tend to want to shift forward a bit, so keep it back. And we're going to release. Just bring hands to knees, go up towards your legs, and come all the way up. And we'll twist over to the other side. So you just go hand on leg, hand on hip, or slide down to that elbow. Elbow and leg press together, palms press together, and turn to the side. And release hands back to legs. Come all the way up. Take the feet apart again. We'll go hands on knees. Round your back. Tuck your tailbone. Tuck your chin. And then inhale. We'll go hands to hips. Arch back. Look up to the sky. Exhale. Hands to knees. Round the back. Tuck your tailbone. Tuck your chin. Inhale. Hands to hips. Arch back. Look up to the sky. And one more. Exhale out. Hands to hips, arch back, inhale. And then release, back to neutral. From here, it's gonna take the right knee up to your chest. You're gonna bring the knee up, hug it in, and then release, lower down. Let's go to the other side, hug it up. And lower down, try to low, round your back as you do this, okay? So even if you only lift part way, that's okay. Knee to chest, feel the sitting bones on the chair, nice light curve in the low back. Release, flexing your foot, weaving more support here. Knee to chest. Don't worry if you can't go that far. Whatever you can do is fine, even if you just lift the leg. One more time, each side, knee to chest. And other side. And release. From here, keeping your feet on the floor is gonna press the feet like you're lifting yourself out of the chair. And then release. So just activating the legs, press and release. Press, try to push yourself back, press down evenly through the ball of your foot and the heel. Okay, now you can stay with this variation, just pressing, releasing, or we'll swing the arms forward, come halfway out of the chair, keep those knees behind your toes, and then lower back down. Bring the hands to the chair if you, as you need to. Swing the arms forward, come up part way, and lower back down. Reach forward. If you want more of a challenge, just keep the arms up and forward and then lift away from the chair and lower back down. Okay. And you can practice this in the chair or you can do the press and release or you can lift. All right, this time we're gonna stand all the way up, stretch up tall. And if you're not comfortable staying, just remain in the chair. Go ahead and place your fingers above you. Stretch over to the right. Inhale, back to center, over to the other side, and back to center. Let's bring hands to hips. Now firm those muscles through the glutes and the hips. Now press the hips forward, curl the shoulders back, lift the heart towards the sky, and look up. Use the inhale to come all the way back up, and then hinging from your hips, bow forward towards your legs. And low. So forward fold, more support. Keep your knees bent, stay up a bit higher. Okay. Or even just sitting in the chair, reach down towards your feet. Let your head relax down. And if the hands don't reach the floor, keep them somewhere on your legs. Now we're going to bend the knees, hands to legs, and roll all the way up. Shrug your shoulders up, take a big breath in. And exhale, extend the arms out to Tadasana and spread the toes. Let's inhale, reach the arms up. Go hold on to the right wrist, stretch over to the left. Inhale, back to center, hold the other wrist, stretch to the other side. From here, you can go hands on hips or cactus arms, extend out through the elbows, firm the glutes, press the hips forward, arch back, look up to the sky. Inhale, come all the way up, and then exhale, forward fold, walking down towards your legs. 
From here, we'll just bend the left knee, straighten the right leg. No need to lock any joints. Just feel a bit more stretch through that right side. And we'll switch over to the other leg. You want to stretch your legs too, Gypsy? And then we'll bend both knees, walk the hands all the way back up to standing. From here, we're gonna go hands on hips. Now, if you prefer, you can have the chair in front of you and hold on to that chair for a little more support. We're gonna shift the weight over to the right foot. We're gonna take the left toes forward. From here, we're just gonna flex the foot. Hold here, if you lose your balance, just put your foot back down. Maybe bend the knee and lift the leg. Doesn't matter how high you lift, adjust where you need to. Even if you keep your toes on the floor and try to balance here, you'll still gain muscle memory. Maybe take the arms up. Okay, arms out to the side will give you a little lower center of gravity, a little bit easier here. Take a breath in and then lower down. Let's shift the weight over to the other leg. We'll take the toes forward here. You can also go hands on hips. Flex the foot, keeping that foot flex is gonna give more support all the way up to the hip, maybe bending that knee. Breathe in, find your focus point, spot on the wall, something that's not moving out in front. Keep the shoulders back and just lengthen up through the top of your head. Maybe take the arms up. Don't hold your breath though, keep breathing. All right, let's lower back down. Inhale, stretch all the way up. And exhale, again, we're gonna forward fold towards the legs, walking the hands down towards the feet. So each time you take a forward fold, you might be able to go a little bit further forward. And again, if you have that chair, you can hold onto that chair in front of you. Let the head relax down. We're gonna reach back for that chair and go ahead and have a seat. We'll take the feet a little bit wider apart and we'll kind of go on to some breath work here. So breathing in through your nose, let a big sigh out through your mouth. We're going to be doing that, breathing in through the nose, exhaling out. As you do this, you're going to bow forward, get out as much air as you can, as quickly as you can. If it's not comfortable folding forward, just stay upright. If at any time it's uncomfortable, just return to a regular breath. So take a breath in through your nose, exhale as you bow forward. Inhale, come up. Exhale out. Breath in. Exhale out. Inhale, come all the way up. Pause. You can stay with that same breath or we're gonna add a sipping breath to it as well. So you're gonna inhale through your nose, bring in as much as you can. And then as if you had an imaginary straw, bring in a little bit more air and then we'll exhale it all out, just like we did. With the previous breaths. All right, here we go. Breathing through your nose, sipping through the mouth, get all that air in, exhale out. Get out as much air as you can. If you can't talk or breathe, yeah, if you can't talk, then you know you're out of air. Inhale through the nose, come up, sipping some more breath, exhale it out. Let's go one more time. Inhale through your nose. Sip in the breath, exhale it out. And then roll all the way up. From here, we'll bring the feet back closer together. We're gonna bring the hands up to the chest, tapping with fingers or gentle fists. We're gonna say the ah sound as long as you can. Take a big breath in, exhale and say oh. Do it one more time. Exhale, say, oh. All right, we're going to move up to sinus area. So one or two fingers going to tap up by the eyebrows and also down by the cheekbones. I want to say the sound of ooh. Take a breath in. And say, ooh.
When you're all out of breath, we'll do one more. So anytime we do this, we're bringing more circulation into those spaces, even with just tapping and then that sound and vibration. And then just let your hands relax. You might notice your nose gets a little itchy or maybe you feel a little more tingly in your face. So a great thing for headaches, sinus issues, even toothaches, brings more circulation to the chest, works a little bit more through the upper part of the lungs. And then that first breath, that lion's breath, working through the base of the lungs, down and through the diaphragm. So all great practices for different parts of the lungs for all of your breath. Inhale, gonna reach both arms up and reach for opposite wrist or elbow. Press the elbows out away. We'll stretch over to the right. Inhale back to center. Then we're going to go over to the left and back to center. From here, bring the arms down by your side. Now, if you have uh, arms on your chair, okay, because you can do this with or without the arms on the chair. If you have arms on the chair, you're just going to turn slightly in your chair and you're going to take the left leg back behind you. So you can be here. If you don't have the arm on that chair, you can actually turn all the way on the side of the chair and you're gonna hold on to that chair, take the leg behind you, press the foot, and then you're gonna tilt your pelvis and then shoulders over your hips and you'll start to feel that stretch in the front of your hip and thigh. If you wanna take this further, you can actually reach down for your foot, hold on to that foot, spread your toes, take the shoulders back and get that great stretch to the front of your thigh. Really good for the knees. When the thighs and the quads are tight, it tends to also be tighter on the knees. So this helps to loosen up, spread the toes. But remember, you don't have pain in any pose. So if you prefer to go back to the first version here, this is fine too. Just keep the toes pressing. Come out. We'll go ahead and just release that foot, slide it forward, and let's turn over to the other side. So turning to the side of the chair, We'll take the leg back, don't slide out of your chair though, so you can hold on to that back of the chair if you need to, or the side. Holding here, press the foot, tilt the pelvis, get that stretch in the hip and thigh, or maybe a reach for the foot. Take the shoulders back, lengthen through the sacrum, spread your toes, full breath in, exhale out. And clench your teeth now and forever. Again, this version or the other, determine what's best for you today. All right, let's release that leg. And I'll turn back to the front. From here, let's take a full body stretch. Stretch your arms, stretch your legs, big breath in. And a big sigh out. Take a deep breath in again. Exhale, bow forward towards your legs. And then take your hands to the outer aspect of your legs. You're going to press out with your legs. You're going to press in with your hands. Okay, so press out with the knees against the hands. Press the hands back in. At the same time, press your feet down to the floor, almost like you're going to stand up. And then lift slightly through your sitting bones as you lengthen through your torso. So you get a stretch all the way across the low back and the hips. Breathe in. Exhale out. We're going to hold for two more breaths. Keep pressing. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. And then we'll release. Hands to knees and just roll up. Let's take the right leg straight out. We're going to go heel on the floor, toes to the sky. Right hand to your leg or elbow to your thigh. Other hand to your hip and twist to the side. You can hold here. Or you can reach the other hand down towards the leg, press the arm and leg together, and then twist to the side. You can keep that left hand on your hip or extend up through your arm, stretching out through the waist, through the mid lower back. Keep the straight leg active so that you're not rolling out, leg and arm pressed together on the bottom. Let's bring both hands back to the bent knee and come all the way up. We'll switch over to the other side. 
Heel on the floor, toes to the sky. And again, twisting over to the side or come down to the elbow or further down, reaching between the legs. Press the arm on the inner thigh, take the shoulders back and extend the other arm up or just keep it on your hip. Breathe in, breathe out. And we're bring hands back to me. Come all the way up. From here, you're going to cross right ankle over left. We're going to keep the knees a little bit closer together here. Or cross thigh all the way over thigh, as close as you can get them. Stack the thighs. Hold on with that left hand. And imagine drawing that knee up toward your chest. And then as you hold here, turn to the side. We'll start to get a little stretch in that outer hip and thigh. If the leg's gonna wanna roll away from you, if the knee's gonna wanna turn out. So keep hugging that leg. And maybe take the other hand, reach for the back of the chair, the seat, and look over your shoulder. Flex that right foot. That's gonna be a little bit more support as you hold that leg. If you wanna take this further, maybe cross your elbow over, spread your fingers. If that's too much, just hold here. All right, unwind. Let's switch over to the other side. So again, you can go ankle on ankle. Keep those knees together and twist. Or you can cross the thigh on top of thigh. Hug those little legs together. So you can press a little bit with your shin out towards that outer thigh. Hug the knee in, sitting up tall. And we'll twist from the waist, and the low back. Look over your shoulder here. Keep that left foot flexed. Maybe take the elbow over. Spread your fingers. If not, just hold here. See where you can keep long torso. Breathe in. Breathe out. And release back to center. Let's uncross. Sing a little bit forward in the chair. And take your left leg out to the side, but straight. Okay. If you don't have the arm on the chair and you want to go further out to the side, you can do that as well. Okay, don't slide forward in your chair though. You can hold on to that chair. I going to start to bow forward towards the leg. So you're bowing forward of your chair with the leg out to the side. Okay, really press that heel down to the floor. Maybe bring your hands to the other leg. You can leave the weight there a bit or maybe even reach further down towards the floor. That just like too much, just stay up higher. Keep that foot flexed on that straight leg. So you should feel that stretch in the inner thigh. We're gonna come all the way up. Use that hand to help that leg back in. And we'll go over the other side. So leg out to the side. You wanna try and have the leg as straight as you can. So you might have to shift a bit in your chair. Okay, flex the foot, take a breath in, and you're bowing more towards your bent knee. Okay, leg stays straight. You can reach here or reach further down the ground. Don't lose your shoulders around your back to get there. Stay up higher. Keep the shoulders back. Breathe and smile. So the sitting bones move back and apart. Entire torso lengthens. Breathe in. Breathe out. Let's come all the way back up. Bring that leg in. And from here, oops, tied up in my clothes. We're gonna bring knees and legs together, close a little bit forward. We're gonna lift both feet up off the ground. Hold here, flex your feet. And then we're gonna extend the right leg and bend. Switch to the other side, extend and bend. Extend from one side to the other. If you get tired, you can put those toes on the floor. Otherwise, try to hold them up. Okay, a few more. And we'll go one more each side. And lower down. Hands on your legs. Take a big breath in. Exhale out. 
And we're gonna sit back in your chair, scoop the tailbone, stretch the legs out, gonna shake out the legs. Shake out your feet, right? Shake out your legs. Come on up, shake out your hips. Shake out your shoulders. Shake out your arms, your hands, shake out your hips. And sitting back in your chair, take a nice big breath, and now stretch the arms up. Big sigh out through your mouth. So you see more like that. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale out. Last one, inhale. And exhale. And just hands rest in your lap. Sit back in the chair, close your eyes. And just let your body settle into the chair, feeling the hips and the back supported, feeling your feet on the ground. Just close your eyes, turn your focus inward to your body. We always take a few moments towards the end of our practice to just integrate the movement, the breath. Relax the muscles around your eyes, your jaw, your face. Feel that flowing down across the back of the head and the shoulders, moving to the chest and the back, down through the arms, the elbows, the wrists, and the fingers. Feel it flowing further down across the mid and the lower back to the hips all the way down the front of the body, to the tops of the thighs, the knees, the backs of the legs, the shins and the calves, down to your ankles, to your feet, and to your toes. And just notice, maybe you sense this as a tingling or a lightness, maybe as a heaviness or a warmth, whatever that sensation of relaxation, just allow it to flow through your body as you breathe in and out through your nose. And we'll just keep the eyes closed here, noticing your breath, noticing your body, and then just allowing yourself to relax and simply be. Any thoughts now, you can just let go. Thoughts may come and go in your awareness. But just imagine them like a cloud passing by, not holding on, not resisting. This moment, nowhere to go, nothing to do. Allow yourself to simply be. your eyes closed and slowly begin to deepen your breath. And gently wiggle the fingers and toes. Bring your awareness back into the space of your body, of the room, of my voice. And we'll bring hands to heart, just pressing the palms. And just take a moment to bow 
in gratitude for this day, for our practice, for our mind, our body, and our breath. Remembering what we appreciate, appreciates. So we'll bow to one another, wishing peace and happiness. Namaste. So namaste means the goodness in me sees the goodness in you. And we can recognize that in one another. So let's keep an eye out for that today and every day, both in ourselves and one another. Thanks so much.